I have a beach party pool party tutorial you guys requested me to do a video on makeup for the really hot days that are to come this hair and makeup is perfect for a beach party or a pool party because it looks like you don't have any makeup on although you do and your hair is still effortless but it's still styled so you don't look like a complete mess but you still don't look too made up if you are going to a pool party in the evening you don't want to look caked on and you don't want to look like you have too much makeup on but you still want your features to be enhanced and you still want to look flawless so this makeup is perfect also just for people who don't like to wear too much makeup or live in a really humid hot climate because this makeup is not going to come off this hair is super cute out of your face and still looks put together I did team up with Living Proof for this video so I'm going to be talking about their nourishing oil and their flex shaping hairspray so if you'd like to see how I achieved this look thank you Keep on watching. So as you guys can see, my hair is naturally really frizzy. So I'm starting off with the Living Proof No Frizz Nourishing Oil. This is a five oil blend that mimics the fatty acids that are found in our natural oils in our hair and they use a special technology which actually absorbs and nourishes the hair so I'm gonna give my hair some quick curls I'm just using a wand and what I like about this product is that it sinks into the hair and there's no residue left on your hands and the ingredients in this oil black frizz as you can see here no frizz so I'm just parting my hair creating a little baby ponytail with the front portion of the crown and I guess this used to be like the bang area I no longer have bangs so pretty grown out so I just give it a quick little ponytail and then I'm going to be teasing I'm using a little bit of the living proof flex shaping hairspray and I am just going to create a little mini bun and instead of using a hair tie I'm gonna use bobby pins a hair tie is gonna make the bun a little too tight you can make this bun as big or as little as you want you can play around with it you can make a little braid and cover the bands with a braid like really you can do anything but I love the little bun on top because it keeps the front portion of your hair out of the way this is the flex shaping hairspray you can use this to set style and finish the hair I like that it has a flexible hold so as you can see I'm scrunching up my hair being a little fluffier and you're never gonna get that crispy crunchy feel and now I'm just taming my baby hairs with that same hairspray I love that this hairspray lets you kind of play around with the hair you don't want to be at the beach with some super crispy crunchy hair but this is still gonna hold the style that you want so now I'm gonna jump into the makeup I'm using the hourglass veil mineral veil you guys know I've been using this like crazy this basically makes my makeup waterproof and I love it and then I'm using a mattifying primer you guys know I have dry skin but this makeup forever mattifying primer never makes me dry and I'm just applying that pretty much in the center of my face this is the naked one and done I like that this isn't a foundation that's like cakey or heavy I don't even think they consider it a foundation it's kind of like a tinted moisturizer BB cream situation doesn't give you that much coverage so I apply a little more where I need it but I love that it has a matte finish and this seriously wears so long so I'm just really blending that in making sure that you don't see any lines and it just looks really flawless and matte now I'm using the new Too Faced Concealer. This is super hydrating and it has, I think, coconut oil in it. So I love that. I think I could have went a little lighter, but I didn't want to give myself too much of a bright under eye because, again, this is a natural look. So I'm using medium light. To set my face, I'm using the Armani Face Powder. This is in the shade number two. And this is a non-drying face powder. Even if the foundation or the BB cream is matte, you still want to set your face. And then I'm jumping into brows and I'm using the Anastasia Brow Definer. And I'm using the shade Medium Brown. Now my brows need to be done so bad. And I really like defining them, especially if I'm not going to be using that much makeup. Because my brows are naturally pretty like gray and ashy. So this really just makes them stand out a lot more. Now I'm using the new Benefits give me brow and this is just gonna fake the funk basically make believe that I have more hair than I don't so I love that this gives me some volume and just fills in the spots that I don't have hair really really helps and I love this stuff so this is the new packaging and then I'm gonna clean out my brows obviously skip this step if you've gotten your brows done and if yours are nice and clean but mine are definitely not so I'm just blending that out and then I'm going to be setting that with the same face powder that I was using before which is the Armani Luminous Silk Compact. Now I'm going to apply a lot of mascara, like a heavy, heavy amount of mascara. This is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Waterproof Mascara. 
obviously you want to use something waterproof even if you're not getting in the water you know just sweating and I don't know maybe someone's splashing you with water who knows you never know you might just get thrown into the pool so I'm using MAC extended play giga black on my lower lashes this is like the only mascara that I will use on my lower lashes so I'm just going ham on the mascara and then I'm setting my concealer with the Laura Mercier secret brightening powder nothing too heavy the translucent powder might be a little too dry and heavy so this one's nice and thin and like pretty undetectable now I'm using the Makeup Forever Pro Fusion, P Pro Fusion Bronzer, I'm twister in 30M, and I'm using a Morphe angled brush. This bronzer is waterproof, and I feel like it's really long lasting and long wearing because it's like a gel base, and I just love the color. It's nice and warm. It's gonna give me a little bit of a fake tan. Also, the one and done has an SPF, which is really, really important. You're not gonna be taking flash pictures, so make sure you get that SPF on. Now I'm gonna use that same bronzer as an eyeshadow. So this is a really cool trick when you're just on the run or just trying to get ready really quick. Use your bronzer as your eyeshadow. It's gonna give your eyes some depth and some natural contours but you don't have to bust out an eyeshadow palette and it's super long wearing so there's that so I'm just applying this underneath my eyes and also in my crease and now I'm using a lip liner as an all over base for my liquid lipstick this is a tip if you want your lips to last really long uh, this one's by Smashbox so I just apply this all over the lip and then I'm going to be applying the liquid lipstick now first I went with this one which is from Rincon Cosmetics um, because I like the color but it was just a little bit too dark for me now this one is super long lasting I recommend the color baby June it's like a really nice nude color but because I am so fair this one was just a little too like rosy on me so I'm actually gonna be applying something else on top so now I'm applying the LA splash liquid lipstick and this one is super matte and it's actually waterproof so you can actually get in the pool with this one it's not going nowhere this is the Estee edit cocoa balm I love that this smells like the beach because I wasn't actually going to the beach or the pool. I wanted to just bring a little summer into my makeup. That one smells so good. And this is a highlight from Estee Edit as well, a new product from them. And you don't want the highlight to be like too powdery. You want it to just really sink into the skin. So I like this formula because it just looks really realistic. You don't want to be at the pool with like a heavy amount of glitter. Usually I'll do like a really matte face and just pop on some highlight. Just because I want it to last really long and usually really dewy skin won't last as long as a matte foundation or a matte face. So now I'm applying the Tarte Exposed Highlights. It's really, really pretty and it's brand new and I just wanted to try it out. Instead of using a powder blush, try using a cream blush. These last really long. These are from, well this one's from Makeup Forever. It seriously lasts such a long time and it looks so natural, just like a natural flush on the cheek. Doesn't look too powdery, too cakey, or just too fake. We're not doing a lot of eyeshadow and lashes and stuff like that, so you want the face to look really natural. I used a little bit of a darker color right under my eyes and then some clear brow gel, that one's from Benefit. A little bit of tight lining makes your lashes look a lot longer, which is really nice. And this is the Bosha Mattifying Face Spray. Really cool. And then this one's from Scandinavia. This is actually a bridal spray, but it lasts a really long time. So there it is. Super quick, super fast, super easy. Still looks like you don't have much makeup on. So that's the key. So I couldn't decide which sunglasses I wanted to wear. We have these, and then I went with these from Key, the Too Faced Key collaboration. So that's pretty much it for this video. Mwah. I wish I had the answers, I wish I had the time